Hi and welcome to the second part of this video. Now in this section I'm going to show you how to import matrix items on Netsuite. To do this of course you have to assume that you already have your matrix items already imported on Netsuite and your custom item fields have already been created and are pointing towards these matrix item lists. Now let's begin with the Excel document itself. So here you're going to have the list of your items with the parent item shirt. You will see the parent item doesn't need any matrix on it. It doesn't need a size, fabric or color. Uh, of course it needs an item description. It needs, you know, sales account, uh, cost of sales account and asset account, a tax schedule. And if you want to, uh, a price level and a selling price. Now, uh, very important, you need to have the name of the matrix items as follows. First, the, sh the, the name of the item, shirt. Then you're going to need to decide on a naming convention of your matrices. It could be first the fabric, and then maybe the color, and then the size, or whatever you decide in your own company. But then what you'll do is you'll put these item names with the abbreviation of these matrix options. So if you remember, uh, each uh, matrix option has an abbreviation and you're going to make sure that each item has got its abbreviation in the same naming convention all the time. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to have to make sure that the field matrix type has parent matrix item for shirt and child matrix item for all the matrix items. And then you're going to have to add the column sub item of so that the child matrix items are sub items of shirt. Okay, that's pretty much it. Everything else is a standard uh, item import on NetSuite. And we can have a look at the mapping now. Uh, let's go to setup, import, export. I'm going to go to save CSV import because we already imported these items on NetSuite. So let's have a look at this inventory import. I'm gonna set this to items, inventory item. So I'm gonna select the file, click on next. And here I'm gonna see I can actually set the decimal delimiter. This is for the case that you've got purchase price, sales price, etc. So in, in my, on my Excel document, you will see that I've got a comma as a separator for decimals. Okay, so I'm going to click on next. And here you're going to see the mapping. Now the first thing you're going to realize is that all the matrix options that we created, for example, the color, the fabric, and the size actually show here. In case you do not see them here, it means that you forgot to create the custom item field and then point it to the matrix item you previously imported. Okay, and then don't forget the there's also the matrix type, which is going to be parent or child, and then sub item of that I already mentioned by showing you the Excel document. You click on next. Okay, and then you're going to be able to um, name this import and then save and run it. Okay, this is it for this video. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to import a inventory adjustment for these matrix items and also consider lot numbered matrix items when doing the adjustment. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.